In this video, I want to um, have a web page that does not display an image, but when you print that web page, it does display an image. Even more so, I only want to display a portion of that image on print. So, to start off with, I have a, a web page here, and what I have in the body is I've got a headline one, I've got a simple paragraph explaining what I'm doing, then I have a div that contains an image. Now this parent div is uniquely identified as my image container. Within that is the image that I want to reference. The image is uniquely identified as floor plan image. Its source is floorplan.gif and has alternate text. And just for uh, something extra, I've also got a paragraph that should only display on print. So this is my web page. I currently don't have any CSS for it. So in Firefox, this is how my page looks. I've got um, my image. Now this is one image, even though it looks like I've got two floor plans here, it's one image with two portions. There's a black and white portion and a color portion. So my image is currently displaying and there's my text that should only display on print. By the way, I'm also getting a similar effect in IE8. So this is my IE8 browser and I'm getting both images. Now to take care of this, I'm not going to be using external style sheets, although I might in real life. Instead, just to make it easier here, I'm going to put some embedded styles in. My embedded styles, I'm going to use, of course, the style tag, and I'm going to use the media attribute. So this first set of styles is going to control how I want my web page to look on the computer screen. Now my image container is going to set to display none. That one's pretty easy. Basically, this entire div is not going to be displayed on my web page. So if I make that, you know, I've got that typed in there. I'm going to go ahead and save and if I go back to my Firefox browser and refresh it's gone. If I go to my Internet Explorer browser and refresh it's gone. And in fact I'm going to do something similar with my um, print only text. Notice this paragraph that I have down here that should only display on print is a class. It has a class print only text separated by hyphens there. So both my image container ID selectors and my print only text class selectors will be display none. And I'll test that out later. Both, basically both of those would hide on print. Now for the print part. I'm going to do another set of styles. But this will be uh, media equals print. Now on print, I want my image container to be 397 pixels tall, okay. which is basically half of the image. I want overflow to be hidden. Now the overflow property will take care of content, text or image content, that is greater than the container that contains it. So since my image is certainly taller than 397 pixels, I want any overflow of that image to be hidden. Basically I'm cropping the image. Okay, now I'm going to save this. Notice this is on my print CSS. Back to Firefox, refresh. Here's how my page looks. I don't have an image and I don't have my print only text. I'm going to go to File, Print Preview. This is how my page will look when printed in Firefox. I will get my I'll get half of my floor plan image and I'll also get my print only text. Everything is working as I would like. 
and Internet Explorer. There's the page on screen, file, print preview. So far, not working. I'm not getting my image. I'm actually looking at one particular page here. I would like to see um, both pages. In Internet Explorer, I'm getting both portions of my image. It seems that in IE, um, my print media is causing problems with, in particular, my height, CSS property, perhaps my overflow property. But I, now I racked my brain for a little bit on this one and uh, came up with a new solution, which is pretty similar to the other things that we've done in the past with some position, and you can see other videos related to that. So what I did instead, or in addition to really, to take care of both browsers, was to my image container I added a position relative. And then I added another CSS for my floor plan image. Another CSS rule here. You may not recall, but in my image, not only was my container uniquely identified, but my image in the container was uniquely identified. I've got the image container and I've got the floor plan image. My floor plan image will be position absolute. Zero pixels from the left and a negative 397 pixels from the top. Now since my container for my image is positioned relative, my image position will be positioned in relation to its container. I'm going to save that. Firefox. It was working before. And it's still working. Notice I'm getting the color portion of the image because I'm actually getting the lower portion of the image. Uh, the position is overriding, so I'm getting the lower portion of that two portion image. And Internet Explorer. That's the print review from the old one. This is print review from the most recent one. Internet Explorer, I'm getting only the portion of the image that I want.